them, as he said, that they are the establishment, and uh, and people in Washington uh, want them to, I guess, take it easy to some degree, right? And it varies host by host how much pressure they put on. But I, I just didn't want to operate within a system like that because then there's no point in doing the show. Like, to me, the whole point of doing the show is telling the truth and, and trying to educate uh, the American people about, you know, what's really going on with our politics and with our government. I don't know, maybe that's too idealistic or too corny, but that's how I feel about it, and that's why I, I didn't want to stay there. And look, they, you know, financially they made a great offer. I could have just taken it, yeah. stayed, and, you know, but uh, but I just want to do an honest show that we, that we do at the Young Turks. Absolutely. <clears throat> and playing ball, you mentioned that they said the guys in Washington they spoke to were kind of upset about what you were doing and to tone it down. And you pointed out it wasn't their buddies in Washington. It's uh, MSNBC is located in New York, right, the headquarters? So right. who are they talking about in Washington? Of course, they're talking about the politicians, whether it's from uh, uh, congressmen or senators or from the White House, right? That's certainly how I interpreted it. I mean, if, it, if they meant their friend Bob in Washington, that's yeah. kind of a weird way of putting it, you know, because <laughs> the exact uh, sentence were, was that people in Washington are not happy with your tone. Yeah. If they said, you know, I don't know, people in Kentucky are not happy with your tone, that'd be a different sentence. And it goes to how tightly uh, tight the situation is between the mainstream media and the government. And it wasn't really intended to be that way originally when we set this country up, to have that kind yeah. of a partnership. Well, it's, of course, supposed to be the exact opposite. Um, the press is supposed to challenge the government, and there's a famous quote from Thomas Jefferson about if he could only have newspapers or the government, he'd pick newspapers. Mm -hmm. uh, and because, you know, but that was in the old days when the newspapers were not part of the government. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, a long time ago on the Young Turks, when we were uh, just a radio show, we had Sam Donaldson from ABC News on. And he told this great story of uh, back in the 1980s when he was the White House correspondent for ABC. And he would often challenge uh, Ronald Reagan fairly aggressively. And every time the Reagan White House called to complain, Rue Knowledge would give uh, Donaldson a race. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's... Uh, that's terrific, and it warms the heart to hear that. And but at the same time, you just kind of feel sick that uh, that we're so far removed from that. Yeah, those days are gone. There's no doubt about it. And there's mainly propaganda coming out from the left and the right. We feel that you know wherever you're tuning into, it's pretty much the same stuff. It's uh, two sides of the same coin being flipped. And it's hard to find real news, real, honest, objective news. Well, I'll tell you, the thing that drives me crazy is that he said, she said nonsense. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's pervasive, right? I uh, and Ann Coulter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so the analogy I use, for example, is, uh, is on sports. You know, if, if the Cowboys and the Giants play and the Giants win 42-10, uh, and, you know, if it was political reporting, CNN would come out and say, the Giants say they won and the Cowboys say they won. You know, and uh, that's not how it's supposed to be. They're confusing neutrality with objectivity. You have to tell us what actually happened, not what the Democrats and the Republicans told us happened. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but we don't really get that, and unfortunately, the majority of the tuned in to watching TV. They want to catch their news quick and easy. They don't want to make an effort, go online and find no. a show like yours or ours or whoever uh, to find something that is alternative. And therein lies the problem. I guess they figure as long as you guys are still considerably small fries and not re reaching the majority of Americans, that's fine. As long as they can control the major outlets. You know, uh, they're, of course, totally wrong. Uh, I think your assessment of it is totally correct. Uh, and partly because they don't get it. They don't watch uh, new media, right? Yeah. But if they think that real Americans don't watch new media, well, obviously, the proof is in the pudding. They're wrong. We, uh, you know, on top of the daily views, we crossed over half a billion views on YouTube. I think half a billion is a real number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and, I would think so. 
And it's certainly more verifiable than television or radio ratings, that's for sure, too. Uh, but you